Hey everybody, Tom Metal at Weatherman here. Hopefully everyone's doing well. So, in recent time, we've dealt with Barrel. You can even see the video right here. We just completed the playlist for Barrel. The whole timeline from when we saw her as an invest, leading all the way up to landfall and her eventual exit. So, if you're interested in seeing the perspective from our channel, uh, make sure to click that link in the top right hand corner. But now that Barrel is out of here, and we've got a little bit of time on our hands and things are relatively slow or slower. We'll uh, go ahead and take a look at the tropics here where we have some good news right now. And that is the fact that not much is to be expected. There's a couple of reasons for this. And the good news is partially the fact that we have winch over here. Now I know what you're, some of you may be thinking, for those of you that are watching or that are newer to the channel here, wind shear you're thinking okay tornadoes tornadoes need wind shear hurricanes probably the same thing it's actually the opposite hurricanes do not need wind shear in fact wind shear is terrible for hurricanes and we see a bountiful amount out here towards the atlantic as a whole here these little areas where we see the brighter colors here are places where we have much stronger wind shear in play and while you can see some areas of spin here even on this map thing is as we continue to go along as those will move further off to the east much stronger wind shear is expect or off to the west excuse me much stronger wind shear is expected so with that in mind i wouldn't be too too concerned in general here you can see a little pressure pop up there there's wind shear right there to catch it on the spot so really throughout this entire model run here and you'll see the same thing on the euro which is in the top right hand corner here and that is the fact that we have a significant amount of wind shear that's going to come into play and keep in mind this is what i said to be one of two factors in play the other factor here and i think this honestly might be the bigger of the two is looking at the relative humidities here pretty much the same thing we'll have the euro in the top right again and what you'll pay attention to is these little brown areas this is dry air of course as we all know hurricanes thrive off of moisture tropical moisture at that so these areas in the green are much more favorable areas and look how much area the dry air is covering particular across this region that's known as the main development region we have saharan dust here so this is pretty much going to choke out any sort of low pressure that would help anything develop here if the if the uh, air was a little bit more moist over here and the wind shear was light we would we would have much greater problems so to speak so as you can see here especially with this high pressure it's continuing to just funnel in that saharan dust and that dry air into the main development region so this is going to keep our tropical potential down for a while here from the looks of it like i said you can see the same thing across the board on the gfs euro the ensembles and the operational runs here so no need to really worry right now as we go through pretty much the rest of the month of july here of course we know that peak hurricane season is towards august and september so no need to let your guard down still want to be always ready to make preparations if things change quickly which they often do with the weather as we know but right now we can relax a little bit and i mean last thing we'll go ahead and take a look at and here's the interesting thing to make note of here we look off the west african coast you can actually see vorticity you can see these little areas of energy popping up here but with the environment so unfavorable we don't have much anything to worry about so we continue to go forward like you can see these little yellow circles that's a little sign of energy trying to get going here but you don't see anything really become concentrated over this entire run this run goes all the way out to 16 days here so we don't so like i said we, we really don't have a lot to uh discuss here in regards to the tropics of course if anything changes we'll let you know here on the channel this is a little quick tropical outlook update type of deal got some good news to deliver i'm always happy to deliver it it's not always about trying to deliver the uh more dangerous weather the quote-unquote apocalypse here we're all about trying to get the good news out too but in any case though i hope you guys enjoy your saturday I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and have a good rest of your day.